fought from the 1st of July to the 18th of November 1916 on both sides of the River Somme of France. The toll of men wounded or killed ran to over one million, a figure so often quoted in this heavy season of remembrance, making it one of the bloodiest battles in human history. Today, we gather to honor the war dead and wounded of our own towns and communities in West Bolivia. We come to remember family members, those who fell and did not return, those who returned but forever altered, and whose legacy of courage and sacrifice reaches out to us a century later the freedoms and opportunities we enjoy today. We remember landscapes cut by trenches and blasted by shells. We remember widows and orphans, and a nation whose faith was tested and sometimes was so beyond breaking. As we give voice to our memories and yearnings, in prayers and poems, reflect in music and word and silence, we seek to register the trauma and loss of war, to return our thanks to those who endured it and paid it, and to declare our commitment to seek peace and pursue it today, exercising the future tense of public memory. I wish now to call upon my brother and father, Paul Kelly, priest in charge of St. Michael's Roman Catholic Church here in Molinco, to lead us in prayer. And as we commemorate the Battle of the Somme, let us pray for those who mourn the deaths of those who have died in the war. Father of Messers, the God of all consolation, you pursue us with untiring love and dispel the shadow of death with the bright dawn of life. Comfort your people in their loss of sorrow. Be our refuge and strength, O Lord, and lift us from darkness into the peace and light of your blessing. Your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by dying has destroyed our death, and by rising has restored our life. Enable us, therefore, to rest with him, him, so that after our earthly course to die, he may reunite us with those we love, with every tear we can wipe away. We ask this through Christ our power. Let us pray for those who continue to suffer for a war in our world, especially in the sin. God of power and mercy, you destroy war and put down death and crime, banish violence from our world, that we may all deserve to be called your sons and daughters, to know you as to live, to serve you as to come near to your kingdom. All our pains for the sake of God, help us and all your people to overcome worldly violence and to establish your law and power of justice. We ask this through Christ our Lord. And let us pray for peace and justice in our world. God of perfect peace, violence and cruelty have no part of you. May those who are at peace with one another hold fast to the good May those who are enemies forget their hatred and you. God of Father, you reveal that those who work for peace will be called your sons and daughters. 
Help us to work without ceasing for that true justice which brings lasting peace. And may those who have offered their lives in their service of their country not have died in vain. Remember the day, especially those who died at the Battle of the Sea. Make our prayers through Christ. Now let us pray together for the Lord's Prayer. We include the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. Amen. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. I am the kingdom, power and glory, forever. Amen. Amen.